Courtney has a question for Dr. Collins Hodges. How does confidentiality play a role in therapy amongst the parent, psychologist, and child? At the outset of therapy, you bring in the whole crew. You sit them all down, you get mom in there, you get kid in there, and I'm in there. And you say, okay, here's how we're gonna um, negotiate information sharing. Here are the things that I'd like to work on with your child and keep those things private. Of course, the limits will always be described. And in a nutshell, they are things like, if the child threatens to hurt him or herself or somebody else, that has to be reported. If there's a history of neglect or abuse, that has to be reported. If I, as a psychologist, am subpoenaed by a judge to appear, that's a limit of confidentiality. I have to disclose information. And then finally, if there's any um, threat to a con continuity of care with other professionals, with the physician, for example, there are certain things that, for the sake of the adolescent, I, I disclose. But those are generally the main ones. Other than that, parents are pretty cool about knowing that part of what makes therapy work is that the child or the adolescent trusts me, knows that we're working together as a team, and that mom doesn't really have to know everything that goes on in there. Ask our doctors on bestdocsnetwork.com.